We're joined now by three students who are active with the National Federation for Just Communities. Destiny is a sophomore at Kenesha's College. Destiny, what struck you the most about uh, the documentary? What stood out for you and maybe surprised you? For me, what surprised me the most was the video itself, just because I'm in college already and just seeing a, like a student like myself, like live, like lying there on conscience and just being dragged out was like very upsetting and hurt, hurtful because that could be someone I know and like I'm in college already and all these colleges are like having a lot of hazing specifically and I believe it should be stopped. Yeah, the whole drinking culture is something that I think a lot of students are reacting to in different ways. And Dalton, I know you're a high school student, but you mentioned the culture being kind of disturbing. Was it not what you expected to see? Um, I don't think it's what I wanted to see, but I think that I have an awareness of, of cultures, um, particularly at, at certain um, groups being this way. Um, and that's scary, but uh, it seems to be a truth that um, youth tend to be aware of and live with, unfortunately. And Nasir, you're also in high school. Yeah. What was your initial reaction when you watched this documentary? It was just really bothering to think about how, with hazing, like that's their friend, right? Their pledge brother. So seeing him passed out like that, or at least limping around, it'd be kind of bothering for them, but I guess not. Is the culture now see something, do something, or is it see something and not say anything right now? I think it depends on how it is and how they react to it, depending on how they see it as. Destiny, you're in college right now, and peer pressure doesn't just exist in a high school setting. It carries through to college, too. How much of a factor do you think it was in this scenario with Nolan? I believe it was a huge factor because, like, even seeing around campus and around, I know there's kids that have been peer pressured to do stuff they do not want to do, and I know they regret it themselves. So I know it plays a huge factor, but also, like, if you have very close friends, I know they should be able to, like, give you advice and tell you what to not do. But at the end of the day, it, it just understands that, like, it does lead to consequences. Dalton, uh, Nolan's parents put a lot of effort and, and blood, sweat, and tears into this. Do you think that this will make a big impact on young kids like yourself? Yes, certainly. I think there's a lot of um, power in storytelling and that when um, people who have experienced scenarios like this come forth and tell their stories, um, I think it makes a big difference. I think that a lot of times we hear how we should behave and what we should do, but I think to put a face on it and to put a whole story to it um, gives us a much better understanding of what the actual risks are and what the actual behavior involved is. Nasir, I know you're still in high school, but do you think that most kids your age are still pretty naive, should we say, about the effects of drinking, especially when it's at that level of intoxication. Do you think there was ignorance on the part of his friends about what to do or, or the fact that something should have been done sooner? For the naive part, I don't think it's that they, they know what it does, but I don't think they get the full understanding or the full effect of actually how it affects your body. And Destiny, things have changed. When I was in college a long time ago, it was keg parties and beer. Now it's hard alcohol, which is a lot more dangerous, right? Those things have changed. Yes, it, it has changed because I know of people that has like does this stuff and I know it's hurting their bodies, but like peer pressure does exist and it just keeps going on and on and they believe like it's a fun thing to do, but they don't realize there's a limit to things in such as this. Mm -hmm. I think this documentary is going to have a wide ranging impact and you obviously have given great reflections. Thank you so much for sharing those with us. We appreciate your time, kids. Thank you.